guys welcome back thank you so much for supporting this channel by clicking on this video so today's video I'll be showing you how to install tape in extensions using curls queen hair but first I want to show you how to remove the extensions and how to replace the tape so to remove the extensions I'm using 91% alcohol and black castor oil they do sell products already made on Amazon I'll make sure that I link that down below so first just make sure that you spray the area where you want to remove the tape ends and then take a comb and slightly press in between the tape ends to let the product get in between be gentle so you won't cause any breakage and then after you do that I just apply a little oil and let it sit on your hair for a few minutes if needed and it should slide right off so if one of the areas become a little resistant don't tug on the tape and just spray a little more alcohol and then that should help So now to replace the tapes, this company does send you replacement. So I was able to use my finger, but you can use a knife to help scrape the tape off. And once you have all the tape off, now you can just put your replacement tape on there. So let's get into this install. This hair was so pretty and very easy to work with. This is what the hair looks like straight out of the box. And this is what it looks like after I washed, dyed, and blow dried it, and then straightened it. This video is in collaboration with Curls Queen Hair. This is their 22 inch body wave tape in extensions in the ultra full set. And I'll make sure that I link all their details down below. So right here, I'm just sectioning off my leave out. And then also I'm gonna section off a leave out on the side of my head so I can do a side part. I also wanted to mention because my hair is short I won't be able to pull my hair up in a ponytail because I want to make sure that I put as many extensions in my hair as possible so it can look as full as possible. So first start off by parting a small section. Each section that you put the tape ends in does not have to be thick or the hair probably won't be able to stick to the other side of the tape in. Please make sure that your hair is freshly washed and there's no oil in it because the tape won't stick. When you're about to place your tape in onto your hair, make sure that it's not too close to your scalp, but not too far off from it, because if it's too close, it will hurt when you try to lift your hair up. So right here, I'm just making sure that my part is neat as possible. So when I go to apply the other side of the tape in, no loose hair will be pulling. Then after you apply the other side of the tape in, just press them together. Um, I also use microlink pliers. If you don't have them, you don't. It's not necessary, but that just helps me make sure that they're pressed together as firmly as possible. And now you just repeat the process throughout your entire head. With me, I didn't skip any sections. I apply extensions to my entire head.
used 80 pieces to do this look. I love how tape ends look and feel. It just looks so natural. You barely can feel them. They're so lightweight. You wouldn't even know that they're in your head. So right here, I'm just putting a few layers in my hair and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a few curls in it and part it to the side just so you guys can see the side part. I love this set, it's definitely giving a natural look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.